Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to take a couple minutes to kind of uh, give you all kind of a, a heads up on on a couple of issues that I've run into in, with uh, installing the Studio 5000 um, software from Rockwell Automation. Um, as many of you are obviously are probably aware, if you've installed the software, you'll run into a handful of software packages, if you will, or different versions that you install that um, will pop up different. Um, installation issues where it'll fail the installation or whatnot and if you go in and you can you can find different um, quick links that'll tell you oh well it it's because it installed a higher version of like a Lynx Enterprise download that you'll have to go in and uninstall or maybe it'll um, be some other start page media or something like that so I ran into that same issue I believe on version 27 where it installed like a higher version of of maybe enterprise or that might have been on version 29 and so I had to go in, uh, in and uninstall the FT um, enterprise edition another one that I ran into was I believe it was on version 29 as well that it installed the version 30 start page media and a couple other things and I had to go in and uninstall those as well in order to get the installation to start um, one that I ran into that that really kind of threw me for a loop here is version 31 and that's the one that I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about. So on version 31, um, I was installing my software on a virtual machine, and I ran into an issue where it just kept failing. Like the minute I would hit start, it would fail. And I looked for the Enterprise Edition. I looked for everything on there, and I could not find it for the life of me as to what it was doing. So Rockwell does offer this this option that you can click the technical notes on that, or you can click... Um, something and basically along the lines of why is my installation failing and so that's what I went ahead and did and it opened up an Internet Explorer page and it said installation had failed on the the Microsoft um, uh, redistributable file from 2015 and that then led me into the ability to go into the control panel and find it to uninstall that software so what I kinda wanted to do is I wanted to show you what that software looked like briefly so I've already opened up the control panel on my Windows 10 PC now this doesn't have that physical installation on it but this also does have the the 2015 redistributable file for other software I've installed in the past if you go to the uninstall program section and after it loads for a second or two and you scroll down to the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 to 2022 redistributable file. Now, depending on whether you're running a 64-bit system or a 32-bit system, you'll need to uninstall those depending on that. Now, the virtual machine that I'm running is a Windows 7 32-bit OS, which happened to be the x86 file. Once it was uninstalled, there's a potential that you may have to reboot your machine, but in my case, I didn't have to reboot it. I just needed to go ahead and close the control panel out and then go ahead and start installing the software. And from there, the software went ahead and, and started the installation correctly as it normally would. So just a heads up on that. Um, just note, sometimes it's going to be your Microsoft Visual C++ files as well as the, the Rockwell software itself that's installed like a, a higher version or something along the way. So just something else to additionally pay attention to. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that. So thanks.